Let's illustrate and then animate the database from this scene. Follow my steps. I draw an ellipse in Illustrator. Then I go to Effects, Extrude and Bevel, change the position to Top and adjust the parameters like you see here. When I expand my 3D shape, I get a group of elements. I see that the bottom of my shape consists of two parts, left and right ones. I merge them together and recolor. The flickering buttons are just a group of dark blue circles. Finally, I duplicate the drive two times. As usual, first thing we do in After Effects is creating shapes from vector layers. You will see that the layer consists of many groups. We just have to understand what is what and then rename each group so that it's easier to navigate. When it's done, I add a trim path effect. I wish this blue fill to appear after the strokes. For that I have to animate the opacity of it. And then I animate the opacity of flickering buttons. It goes from 0 to 100 and back every 2 frames. Again, I duplicate the layer two times and now I have three drives that look like a dot base. The final touch is animating their position. I wish them to move upwards. When I'm happy with the way they appear, I slightly offset the layers in time. So to summarize, each layer has the following parameters keyframed, the opacity of the buttons and the blue fill, the trim path parameters and the position.